Hello everyone. Today I thought I'd talk about Gizmo 2. It's a um, AMD x86 platform. Uh, it's by a company called Gizmosphere. This board is a 4x4 four four inch uh, form factor. It's a dual core um, at 1 gigahertz. It's a GX210HA AMD processor, 9 watts TDP. Uh, it has HD audio in and out, so there's the HD audio in and out connector. Uh, it's regular headphone jack, 3.5 millimeter. I'm in the USB 3.0, HDMI 1.4, and then gigabit Ethernet, and then USB 2.0, and there's the, your power connector. Um, it has a TF card slot or micro SD card slot. Uh, it has GPIO. Uh, and debug headers and it has uh, DDR3 1600 RAM and on the back it has a real-time clock and then MSATA uh, generation 3 so yeah it's a nice little board we'll go to the console and I'll show you the rest okay so this is what you're presented with after hitting the power button on the gizmo 2 uh, this is the time sys interface and at the top you'll have some icons if you scroll over um, you'll be presented with information so this is the console and you can go down to the bottom here and launch the application and it will open a Firefox web browser we'll, we'll actually go to the first icon and I will show you a running video of Big Buck Bunny it looks uh, well developed it's real fast and snappy I noticed the resolution worked right out of the box. Uh, the fan is real quiet uh, even after playing video. So I'll go, I'll go back and I'll launch application. I've actually changed the wallpaper but um, on the desktop interface. But if you look at the video, um, it's very crisp and clean. So uh, this would definitely make a good media server if that's what you choose to do with this board. Uh, just because it's got gigabit Ethernet um, and USB 3.0 and being an x86 platform uh, it would be really simple to um, install XBMC so anyway I went out to the video and I'm back to the uh, TimeSys interface uh, they're giving some simple directions about swiping as if uh, I had a touch screen connected so I don't this is just a regular uh, screen so anyway if we go um, they give you the option to exit to the desktop or um, an XBMC interface uh, this isn't the Kodi interface or the Kodi uh, platform but that Kodi is still an RC so I can understand as it being a production machine you wouldn't want to um, have Kodi installed on here now this is the 13.2 Gotham as you just saw um, it isn't 3.05 in the morning. I haven't set the actual clock. So um, I just wanted to show how fast and snappy it was. The interface is really quick. So um, realize though this is also running off of the uh, micro SD card. So I just wanted to show that. So yeah, that interface works really good. So this would make a good multimedia center machine just to show what the uh, specs are it's moving at 32 to 36 frames per second which is reasonable uh, it's running on a kernel the 3.12 kernel um, and there's the IP address information and available free memory is 412 megabytes um, so it's really nice uh, OpenGL version uh, 2.1 looks like it's using the message uh, 10.26 driver now with the, the Linux operating system functional um, the CPU usage is actually right now high because it's downloading plug-in information I would expect uh, overall circumstance I've seen it go from 13 to 18 uh, percent processing power um, which is really reasonable so yeah so if we go out, um, I'll go ahead and I'm going to go ahead and exit from XBMC, and there's the wallpaper that I've set. So, um, 
and I actually I'm gonna go ahead and exit to the desktop and this is the standard XFCE interface um, and they have Firefox installed they have um, bulk rename uh, I noticed uh, a full featured operating systems inside here so they have in player which is nice so if you needed to do anything with video uh, in player would do that if not you could uh, I compile or install a VLC if you needed to so that would really be helpful um, so um, if you just go to the like the settings and everything seems to be real fast and prompt um, I'll do a tear view just so you can see the graphics processing so there is a little bit but it's nothing like an ARM platform so this is, seems to be really um, fast and snappy um, I'm gonna definitely look at the settings with an MSATA card just to see how much faster it will be um, and we'll look at um, look at the settings here settings manager opens up right away really fast and prompt um, so that's really all I have for this board um, I will do some settings and maybe some um, configuration with it um, if you have any questions about this board or if you'd like to see any options or configuration settings for it uh, please leave a comment below I will put the um, Gizmosphere's information uh, inside the description um, and check out my other videos and if you like what you saw today please subscribe um, also give me a like take care and have a good day